This will be the last time you guys see those wheels and tires on Sylvie because I got the brand new ones in. Look at that, they're all mounted. Brand new valve stamps, all balanced, all ready to go. There are two specific tires I'll have to worry about, which is this one right here. Uh, let's see if I can find it. That is one of the back tires. And this one, which if I can find it, it says spare. I know it's on this one because uh, I put that one over there when I rolled these over. But yeah, brand new wheels and tires, all nice and balanced with the new style weights. And this is a 108 and 114.3 lug pattern adapter wheel. That's why there's so many different lug patterns on here. It's meant for two variation of uh, hub uh, lug nut spacers specifically with these tires with these rims uh, i do have the center caps center caps are all right there all ready to go and i actually have the spare one for the spare tire sitting right there with the bolt for that one in there because they have allen key bolts on all of them so the four bolts, the Allen key, there's actually five Allen keys. So I have three, two of them sitting in my vehicle. I got three of them sitting in my house and there's all four center caps. So let's get this tire changing, done and over with. As you can see, I already have the center caps off. These wheels are already taken off. They're all ready to go. So let's uh, pull the jack out. Let's get started. don't slide into the hole because of this lip on them so I'm having an issue getting the lugs in that's real freaking great Official new wheel and tire mounted. Look at that. There's the old one. There's a new one. God dang. It's gonna look so much different with those on there.
Intel. Dashboard's all back in. The sound system is all done for the car. And now it just brakes. Everything else is done for the car. Just gotta do brake pads. That's it. And, of course, as you guys just seen, the new wheels and tires are on the SUV. Look at those, they look so nice. Oh my God. I've had so many people tell me that changing wheels and tires on a vehicle makes the entire vehicle look so much different. And well, they're not joking, look at that. Oh God, they look good. Now the only thing left on the SUV is the rear main seal, that's it. I have the mechanic coming by and actually picked her up in about a day or two, maybe three days max, to do that. So, yeah, there she is, guys. She's almost done. One more part left and she's done. And then with the car, of course, just three brakes. That's it. And I have the brakes sitting in the trunk right now because I don't lose them. Radio almost looks like it was meant to be here. Like it looks so nice and got the little tray beneath it. And uh, the dash cover here actually pushes it back just a tad, which holds the radio more secure in place. Because on the back, the mounting brackets are not technically in there, but it fits. The only reason why I could not get the mounting brackets behind there is the spacing between the radio and the uh, opening of the OEM radio that was here. There's just such a little gap in between there. I could not get the proper brackets in, but the plastic dashboard piece helps hold the radio in so it doesn't slide out, you know, slide out. So if at any time it does slide out, you just kind of push this edge in a little bit right where my finger is a little seam line that's actually the the surround plastic for the radio itself and then this one is obviously just the tray but yeah you just kind of push it back a little bit like that on each side and it holds it in place just fine it's got the little USB on it with the auxiliary cord and it's just a little basic radio and yes the antenna does work so if you go radio got Y1065, got some radio, go right back to auxiliaries which is the 3.5 mil jack. That's it for the sound system build for the car. I know I didn't film every little detail but it's just it's those minor details that I had to kind of overcome and get done and taken care of but as you can hear and see it's in it's playing they sound freaking amazing and I got an email a little while ago stating that the new subs that I ordered for Sylvie that are going in Sylvie the larger subs same size 10 inch scar audios the ones in the car are 1200 watt. The ones I ordered for Sylvie are 1500 watt. So the car will have 1200 RMS. The SUV will have 2000 RMS because they're 1000 RMS each. And that should go perfectly with the Orion Cobalt amps that I still am waiting on. It's been almost 30 days since I ordered these subs and I'm still waiting on them. Still waiting on them to come in. But otherwise, that's it for the audio build. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. I really love and appreciate the love and support I get from you guys. 
and thank you so much for commenting. You guys are starting to comment now. Thank you. And, you know, telling me that I'm doing a good job, that you guys like the video, like, hit that thumbs up button if you guys do like these videos. You know, let me know what you guys like and what you guys don't like in the comments, you know. If I'm doing great and awesome and everything's going smoothly, um, then cool. You know, that's, that's awesome. But if you guys don't like the videos, hit that thumbs down button. Don't be afraid to tell me that I'm doing a horrible job. <laughs> so yeah, but that's it for the car audio build for Sylvie, or not Sylvie, sorry, for White Lightning. And I will be doing a build for Sylvie in a coming video once the amps come in that I'm waiting on. <sighs> I've been waiting so long for these things to come in. But anyway, have a good one. Peace out and have a great one.